Long day. Oh, Jesus. It's midnight. Yeah. Hooray. You know what that means? Yeah. It's officially Halloween. Yay. <laughs> not your favorite? No. No, it's not my favorite at all. I think that happened when I was like 10 years old. I was out trick-or-treating. And uh, two big kids came up and knocked me down and kicked me and grabbed all my candy. And that was my last Halloween that I ever had when, when I was 10. That's sad. Is, yeah, it is. That's yeah. really sad. Yeah, so Halloween's kind of, I'm always nervous about Halloween. It's just, just me, but yeah. Hey, aren't you just a tad kind of bummed that we're not doing anything crazy this year for the Halloween episodes? Hell no. I mean, think about it. <laughs> In previous years, I was visited by uh, a widow, a dead widow for that matter, who practically drank my entire bar. Yeah, remember that? Yeah. yeah. Remember that. Number two, I was possessed by Satan. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that wasn't Yay! good for anybody. No, hell no. And number three, last year, I got bit and turned into a zombie. Right, the zombies. Yeah. <laughs> Who knew making a corpse survivor a cocktail would literally bring corpses to life? <laughs> yeah, but they were lovely gals. <laughs> Those zombies. Yeah, they were. Yeah. Bite me, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not excited about Halloween. I mean, I got bit. Mm -hmm. I died. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I came back as a zombie. I don't know what you're complaining about. You clearly got better. Well, yeah, it took a lot of time. It did. How did you get better? Well, vitamin C. <laughs> a lot of vitamin C. I, 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 I do mega doses of vitamin C every morning. Yeah, and that's why I'm so youthful. I rarely get sick, except when I get bit by a zombie. So I'm not getting bit this year. All right, fine. But have you come up with a drink to shoot tomorrow for no. the Halloween episode? Wow, well, I'm working on it. Can't we just uh, do the uh, orange and black? Just, you know, repeat it. What, in reverse? The black and orange? <laughs> sure. Call it the black and orange. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, we just play the episode backwards? <laughs> Is that what we do? <laughs> it's the black and orange. I love it. I love it. Brilliant. Let's do it. <laughs> no. Come up with a drink tomorrow for Halloween. We'll shoot it. We need more than one. It's I need a tradition I need, now. I need another drink. Oh. You do that. It's late. I'm going home. Okay. I gotta go to bed. So. Me too. I'm gonna to finish this. I'm gonna take the garbage out and uh, hit the hay, okay? Sounds good, Bruce. It's a good day. We'll see mm. you tomorrow. We'll film some more Halloween. Cheers, man. Um, yeah, grab the garbage and get the hell out of here. Cheers, man. been working bar in hell for an eternity. In that time, I've learned a trick or two that I'd like to pass on to you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this spectacular Halloween edition of Bar Talk and Cocktails. We've got a lot of ground to uncover. <laughs> where's, uh, where's the Brucey? I haven't even seen him yet. <laughs> Well, I think he's tending to his wounds. His wound? Yeah, he got bit by something last night. Shut up. No, seriously, he was taking out the garbage and he got bit by something. That's what he told me. That would be so brutal. Bruce! We're ready when you are. I need a minute. Well, he was going on last night about not wanting to get bit. <laughs> oh, top it all off. There's a full moon tonight, so there's going to be all these Is wackos. Is there a full moon tonight? There he is, Brucey. Yeah, I'm here. Oh my God, I'm here. Did yeah. you well, you know, I got bit. <laughs> Jeez, I got bit. Can you help me with this Band-Aid? Oh my God, I mean, Bruce. It's, it's a little, yeah, I know. Oh. It's still oozing a bit, but it's get, it's better than it was. Oh my God. Is that too tight? No, uh, that's pretty good. <laughs> oh, here, well, only you. Do you want oh, let some let me tape? Cut, yeah, let me cut this off first. Thanks, babe. 
I should be like uh, resting in bed or something. I don't know, man. Not today. Not today. Yay. <laughs> you guys and your stupid Halloween. It's seeping through a little bit, but it's fine. Okay. All right. Oh, that feels much better. References to silver bullets come in many shapes and forms. You've got movies called Silver Bullet. One with Tom Tyler in a thrilling western from 1935 and another from 1942 starring Johnny Mac Brown. Silver bullets were also used by the Lone Ranger in his adventures. On each episode of the popular radio and television series, the Lone Ranger would miraculously appear to right injustices, leaving behind a silver bullet as his calling card. Who was that masked man? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we've got Stephen King's 1985 horror film, Silver Bullet. Even Nike has a pair of shoes called Silver Bullet, which by the way are ridiculously priced. You can buy vibrating massage sex toys in the shape of Silver Bullets. Everything from paperback novels to suppositories <laughs> and silver thermometers stuck up your rectum. <laughs> And of course, Coors Light Beer was coined the Silver Bullet, referring to the appearance of that silver can. See, look, it says right on the coaster, the Silver Bullet. <laughs> War bonds with that name were issued in 1914. The Times advised the population of the UK to invest savings in buying silver bullets in the form most suitable and convenient. Traditionally, though, the ancient 19th century belief in the magical power of the silver bullet is necessary to kill a werewolf. But today we use the term silver bullet to refer to an action that provides an immediate solution to a problem. A problem like, uh, I'm really thirsty. <laughs> I could use a drink. <laughs> Actually, you know, I could really use a shave. I just shaved like six hours ago. You know, there's a lot of variations out there on, on the silver bullet. This is a shooter here. A three quarter ounce of uh, gin, one quarter ounce of scotch. And we just uh, stir it up, chill it out. And we're just gonna strain this. Yeah, nice little shooter. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the garnish is uh, simply a little lemon twist. Spritzed over top, dropped in, and shoot her back. You can also make it as a cocktail. I'll shoot that later. <laughs> I'm just gonna set it off to the side, okay? Now, I used to make this back in the 1980s, the silver bullet, and we used uh, white sambuca. Look how thick that is, it's beautiful. And uh, vodka, and we'd layer it on top, which seems kind of Ridiculous, because it, it's white on white, man. But it works, trust me. And then, to top it off, we had black Sambuca. This is kind of fun. And all we did was uh, drip. It's kind of cool because it layers right in between the two layers. Love it. Isn't that neat? But there's a classic recipe for the Silver Bullet cocktail that made its debut in the legendary 1930 Savoy cocktail book by Harry Craddock. I think uh, I'll make that one too, or at least a variation on it. The reason I say variation is because the original recipe calls for kumo, or kimmel, which is a sweet colorless liqueur flavored with caraway seed, cumin, and fennel. I can't get that where I live, so today I'm going to make it with escarchado. Oh man, I am so itchy. Ah. Ah, oh. uh, Harry Craddock's recipe called for one ounce of gin. Actually, it was a half an ounce, but I'm just doubling up his recipe. Escarchado. <laughs> it's behind this guy here, man. <laughs> and we want uh, half an ounce. Sweet. And a half an ounce of 
fresh pressed lemon juice. That looks about right. Pop in some ice. Pop a lid on and shake it like a silver bullet. <laughs> really, really fast. <laughs> Who was that last man? <laughs> Good. And get rid of this ice that's been chilling in our little coop. And just strain it out. Double strain. Yeah, that looks pretty refreshing, doesn't it? And garnish with a little twist of lemon. Oh yeah, look at that, beautiful. All right, let's give this a go. Wow, that is absolutely refreshing. Um, the escarchado and the lemon are just seem to have this wonderful harmony going on together. It's not overly strong, but very refreshing. The gin, obviously, forefront. That's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. So there we have three different silver bullets. <laughs> we've got one made with gin and scotch. And we've got one with uh, white Sambuca, black Sambuca, and vodka. Chilled, chilled, not chilled. <laughs> oh, man. Oh man, make a silver bullet cocktail. I can really taste that escarchado. Oh, 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 what the hell is that? I got a real need to howl at the moon. Ow! Oh, oh my god, oh my god, what's happening? Howl at the moon. I hope that guy remembers we still have one more episode to film today. Ugh, what a mess. Oh, a gun. I wonder if it's got silver bullets in it. <laughs> what the hell? Stay back. Damn, it's just a prop. Partial funding for Bar Talk and Cocktails is provided by Patreon. For just a few dollars a month, you get access to lots of extra stuff. Behind the scenes videos, podcasts, newsletters, some of my own personally created cocktails, and much, much more. Become one of my patrons today and help keep us going. Thanks in advance. Cheers.